I want to demonstrate in this video an advantage that comes from using the Surge TKB sequencer in 16-step mode. We can generate nodes that have clearly different durations. I have a transient generator patched in self-triggering mode as a clock to drive the sequencer in 16th notes. So the clock is four times faster than a quarter beat. When the sequencer moves from step to step, there's no hiatus in the voltage in between. This means that we can't generate new gates or triggers from transitions between the steps unless the voltage returns to zero or crosses some threshold. But the continuity between steps can be used to advantage. Here I'll demonstrate it by using the settings of a row of sequencer knobs to generate and gate a simple oscillator signal. I've raised knobs on step one, step seven, and step thirteen. There's just one patch chord coming from row D of the sequencer controlling the volume of the oscillator at the VC gain input of a VCA. But you'll notice that I've taken it via one half of a dual slope generator. Row D is connected to the in of the slope generator and outputs is connected to the VCA gain. VC gain. The oscillator signal is going into the audio input of the VCA and we're listening to the output. Because the slope generator passes the knob level through, we can still use it to control the volume. But we can use the rise and fall times of the slope generator to affect the envelope, which becomes trapezoidal in shape. This is a classic way of making an envelope on the surge, and it can be improved on in a variety of ways. So I can soften the attack of the envelope by increasing the rise time or I can keep it hard I can increase the decay of the envelope to give some resonance but for the moment I'll just keep it simple Let's listen to the effect of raising the knobs on road D to different amounts. Uh, one knob in the row gives us just a short ping, but we can raise the knobs to the right of the first knob to lengthen the duration of the sound. Note that the actual height of the knob may be not the same as it's visually on the knob. So we can make pings of different durations. We'll make one of three sixteenth beats. We can make one of only one sixteenth beat. We can make this one into two sixteenth beats. Uh, 
Once we've done that, we can replace the ping sound with a sound made from colours noise that has a splash component in it. We'll take the ping sound out and we'll replace it by this noise sound. And the character, of course, changes quite a lot. And now we can adjust the envelope decay, for example. So we have different durations and we have different volumes. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching. Some of the information in it is quite specific to the surge, but some of it may be useful when using other models of sequencer.